So recently a poll was taken by the super popular Japanese fan site Goo Rankings where they polled roughly 500 people that were in about their 20s and 30s on who they think are the top 20 worst female heroines from Shonen Jump manga that's basically the main protagonist female of the series and I gotta say looking at this list I'm appalled I don't know if these 500 people just have absolutely horrible taste or what the fuck is going on but I looked at this list and I'm like you can't be serious right now I mean some of these people I ain't gonna lie I don't even know who the hell they are a few of these you know people on the list or whatever but a good chunk of them especially some of the ones that are on there I'm like how is this person the worst and how they have people that are absolutely terrible characters ranked lower as if they're not as bad like let's look at this list so coming in at number 20 somebody called Aika from MXO have no idea who that is coming in at number 19 Kaoru from Aroni Kenshin now Kaoru was a little bit annoying but overall she was very helpful and she ride or died for fucking Kenshin so so the fact that they put her on here, I'm already disgusted. Roni Kenshin, absolutely fucking phenomenal series. And Kaoru was a pretty awesome character as well. So you're putting her in there. I mean, again, she was a little bit annoying because she was really hardcore on Kenshin's balls. But she still held it down and she did some awesome shit. So Kaoru, uh, how are you putting her on this list? Then you got Lala from Tula Brew. I ain't gonna lie. Tula Brew, very, very etchy series. And Lala, she wasn't like necessarily a bad character. She was a little annoying again. But I wouldn't say that she's one of the worst in Shonen and jump but then at number 16 i'm appalled and the reason i'm appalled is how in the fuck do you put nami from one piece in this like are you fucking joking right now nami nami she's a fucking bomb ass character i mean yeah she loves the money and shit like that and all that fun stuff but at the end of the day nami is fucking awesome so already this list has little to no credibility because again there are some fucking horrible characters in shonen jump horrible main female protagonists in shonen jump and you putting nami like really then at number 13 you got miho from bakuman miho that motherfuckers was calling her a bitch and a slut and she overcame all of that shit and still went for her dreams to become a famous voice actress how the fuck you gonna put her on this list i'm like really like do you 500 people got your head shoved up your ass or something number nine Madaka from Madaka Box. Madaka was fucking awesome in that series. And I've only read bits and pieces and shit like that. From what I did read, she was a fucking bomb ass character. She was basically considered perfect and shit like that. Madaka? But then at number 7, absolutely deserves it. I agree with this one. Although I think it should be a lot higher on the list. But I'll agree with this one. You got Sakura from Naruto on there. But I think that that should be easily top 3. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> they got it on the mark with that one. Yeah, Sakura, terrible female. One of the worst. I'll, I'll give them that. Number 5. This one is probably the worst defense that they have because she's an absolute amazing character. I mean, if you read Gintama or you watch Gintama, you've seen everything that she's been through and how she's overcame and shit like that. Fucking Kagura from Gintama. Right there, absolutely. There's no need to go any further on the list because Kagura from Gintama is a fucking fantastic main female protagonist of a series. And she's fucking awesome. She's hilarious. She, at the same time, when shit gets deep, she'll go in and you'll see her past and everything that she overcame. Like, get the fuck out of here. What the? This list list is terrible it's absolutely horrible number three misa from death note i mean misa was pretty fucking annoying and she was one of the downfalls of light and shit like that so probably she deserves to be on here i wouldn't say number three but maybe she's somewhere around there though i mean as a fan favorite i do like misa misa but from a critical standpoint yeah misa she kind of was annoying and fucked around a lot coming in at number two chitoge from misa koi chitoge is annoying sometimes but at the end of the day she's mainly assumed that it and I wouldn't put her on this list either. I mean, I like Onodera more. If you was to ask me between the two of them, I would say, yeah, i go with Onodera. But I wouldn't say that she was a fucking terrible or really bad main character or anything like that. She was just assumed that it. Like, you know, that's an archetype in fucking anime and manga. So, and then last but not least, number one, Uraraka from My Hero Academia. We barely gotten a chance yet to really get into this character and what we've seen thus far has been some nice natural progression. So again, not a bad character. So you look at all the offenses they have on here. Nami from One Piece, Kagura from Gintama, fucking the number one Uraraka. Why are you hating on that Uraraka, bro? Like honestly, these 500 people that are in their 20s and 30s, I think they just have shit taste. Like some of the people, they were on the mark. Having Sakura in there, you were on the mark, but Number one, the girl from Hero Academia? Like, pfft. 
This shit is fucking crusty as fuck. This list is horrible. I don't approve. But let me know what you guys think of this. What do you think about these 20 females? Do you think any of them deserve it? Except, of course, Sakura. Because, I mean, I'm not even going to debate that. She's pretty shit. But anyone else in this list that you like, yo, they're, they're fucking decent. They shouldn't even be on here. Any of the series that I didn't mention or I'm not that familiar with, the link in the description below will have the full-on list so you can see every character. But I'm really appalled. These people, these 500 people have fucking shit taste. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say, or enjoy the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and stalk my facebook to get more when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day